beach zombies. <laughs> the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Bloodbath A, part one. A game by Suits and Nukes. What an interesting name for a developer. That's a very metal way to to dive down to the deep, just chilling out on an anchor. That guitar riff might be copyrighted though, so it might not make it in. Donnie, Min Donnie, can you hear us down there? I guess so. Am I Donnie? That's an affirmation. Com links are established and operational. Catching in the commander now. Deficies. All right. I don't need to remind anyone of the importance regarding this op. So just get it done quick. All right, Rick. Good hunting down. Swear to God, it sounds like Rick. Okay. On the surface, it was like something from a damned horror show. Okay. Climbing out of their graves and feasting on the living. Diving so zombies. One of the more reckless things a person could subject themselves to. But given the situation, it almost felt safer down Ooh, there. I can jump pretty high. Yeah. Peaceful, even. Like the calm before a storm. Yeah, there might be zombie fish. Who knows? Anything could be a zombie. Even this grass could be a zombie. Should I just stay on the path of not grass? Or just go wherever the hell I damn well please? I think that... I don't know. But apparently my objective is to collect those little slugs. And is that what's glowing off in the distance? Woohoo! Jumping. Remember. Ooh. I guess We're it is. Flowing sea snails we briefed you on earlier. We're going to need sea snails. To okay. Thirty of those little buggers if we aim to synthesize a successful treatment. I had read the dossier. These snails weren't usually so good for you. Fine. Something about their mating season drove them from the rocks. Oh no 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 no! Oh, Don't fall down it. there. Shit. Little of a man. I had my own reasons for taking on this job. Being cryptic just for the sake of being cryptic has always been kind of a a nuisance of sorts I guess how do I pick these bastards up okay that's the map okay I just walk all right over I step on them and that automatically sucks them into my boot ew gross so far so good I'm doing all right This running around is probably going to make my oxygen consumption a little irregular, and that's not good. If you know anything about deep sea diving, you want to keep steady breathing, not get all frantic and shit. But, what is that? Is that something I need to worry about? There's a skull face on it. Interact with it. Ooh, spears added. Yes. Okay, so that's a treasure chest that gave me some ammo. Ammo is good. Now where do I go? Where to now? Do I need to worry about evil death fish? I'm lost. I'll just say it right now. I'm lost. Jumpity jump jump. All sorts of plateaus and shit. Underwater plateaus. Wait a minute. Um, what would you guys qualify this game as? Because... Oh. Oh. I'll tell you what I can qualify this game as. Um... A trap! Where am I in relation to this map? Doesn't really matter because I can't get out of this corner. That... That's a bad thing. 
So, um... Shit. Alright, so I had to... Restart the whole game just to get out of that hole. That's a, that's kind of an issue that needs to be addressed. Another thing that bugs me, but this is more of a personal thing than anything else, the the commander and uh, whoever girly pants was at the beginning of the game, uh, did that clownfish just spawn out of the... They're, they're just giving no fucks whatsoever. Anyway, to my point, um, there's not enough radio sound effect added to the voices, and like I said, that's not a deal breaker, it just, it screws up the immersion for me, uh, if that makes sense, because it's like, there should be more crackle of a radio if they're talking through two-way radio comms or whatever. That is my two cents on the dealio there. Now then, where am I going to get 29 more glowing sea snails of disgusting bitchy cure and goodness, whatever. Try to avoid falling into pits of despair that will cause me to have to restart from the very beginning of the game, which I hadn't made much progress, so that's no big deal. However, getting more... Where were those other harpoons that creepy looking chest that I wasn't sure I was going to open. Where did that go? I like the art style of the uh, character though. It's kind of a semi-cartoonish like like Borderlands. Can I shoot the fish? Nope. That's kind of a bummer. Oh well, I guess I should conserve my ammo for more important thingies like um, zombie fish and such. Nasty, disgusting sea snails that glow because apparently that's the cure for zombies. Oh, all this brush is making it difficult to see. Where am I going? I don't know. I can't even tell where for on the map I am. What's the point of a map if you don't know where you're going or where you are in relation to it? Alright, so. Seriously, where? Where am I? Whoa. Where? where did I just throw away my harpoon gun? I want my harpoon gun back, please. What if I need to shoot something? Like a zombie squid. Or a zombie octopus. Or just a plain old zombie because they apparently walk underwater. Did I just throw it? Do I need to go back and retrieve it? This isn't cool. Oh well, carry on. If I die, I die. And then I'll become a zombie. Then when the boss asks, Hey, have you found all those sea snails yet? And I'll, I respond with, Rrr. He'll be like, oh fuck. Alright. So, where am I going now? hardly see what's in front of me the water is so thick and red and dark and spooky is this where I'm supposed to go I hope this is where I'm supposed to go because I 
don't know where else I would go. Find me some more sta- Whoa. What is this? Donnie, we're picking up that you are nearing the proximity to the Santa Ana Gulch. Okay. During the war, this area was host to some intense naval skirmishes. Gotcha. I know you're working with low visibility, but you might come across some leftover sea mines. Like these. If you do, they can be set as checkpoints. Oh. Seeing as so many lives were lost, it locals started calling the area Bloodbath Bay. The name just stuck. Oh, is that why it's called Bloodbath Bay? It has nothing to do with the fact that the water is all red and blood-like? Also, it's suddenly green. Great. I activated a landmine as my checkpoint. Does anyone else find something a little bit disturbing and, uh... Ironic about that? Do, 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 do. What be down here? Or did I just cause myself to go in a circle again because this is where I'm not supposed to go? I did no! No! Ah! What the fuck? What in the foie gras was that? Can I kill it? Jeebus. Ah! What are you? No, keep that out. They just show up out of nowhere. They literally, it's like, there's no warning. There's, there's nothing that you can tell is there. They just sneak up on you. They don't even sneak up on you. They literally just flash and suddenly they're there. It's like, ooh. How do you protect against that? Suddenly sea monster. It's like You can't tell it's there until it's attacking you. Oh hi. Here's another snail. Okay, that's two. Twenty-eight more to go. Ugh. This would take forever. So I'm gonna end the episode right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, take a look around. Maybe you'll see something a little better than this. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.